Um, today I am officially breaking my book buying ban and going book shopping. I am so excited and I thought it would be fun to do a little bookstore vlog and then a haul at the end. I love watching other people's book shopping vlogs when they all go to Barnes and Noble, but unfortunately in Australia we don't have a Barnes and Noble. But the next time I'm in America, you best bet I'm going straight to Barnes and Noble to go shopping. But today I'm hoping to to go into QBD, Robinson's Bookshop, and hopefully Kmart as well because I saw that Kmart have been coming out with book talk recommended books. So hopefully I can snag some up today. So yeah, that is my book shopping plans. I'm so, so excited. I actually don't have any specific books I'm looking for. I'm just kind of going in there, sussing it out, hopefully seeing if there's any sales on and then buying some books. Let's go. I get my hopes up every time. And I don't wanna be, be let down neutral to find I just wish I'd seen the price tag for my heart breaking Was it worth all that waiting when I always knew just how I felt Yeah, I'm looking back at the past and I feel regret So I wanna walk on the block, see where we met Try to forget that you went on with someone else instead Maybe cover art on this is absolutely stunning. I'm literally obsessed. This is a fantasy romance and the tagline says, in every story there is a hero and a monster and she is not the hero. The main character girl is the monster her name's Joan and then the love interest I believe is like not really a monster slayer but like the hero of the book. I am so excited and I think this book is going to be either a duology or a trilogy so I'm keen to read this book. Then of course I had to pick up two Colleen Hoover books books because she's my favorite author. So I picked up her newest release which is Reminders of Him and I got the really nice cover so I'm very happy about that. I'm very excited but nervous to read. Colleen Hoover is very well known to ripping your heart out but putting it back together so you kind of have that to look forward to but I've seen a lot of people crying to this book like full on bawling their eyes out. It's about a woman named Kenna who is a young mother and she has just served five years in prison and she's coming out and is wanting to reconnect with her four-year-old daughter but everyone in her daughter's life is determined to shut her out of her daughter's life so it's like her trying to prove herself and get in touch with her daughter and be in her daughter's life and the only person that doesn't shut her out is this man named Ledger. I'm very excited I already know I'm gonna like this book and the other coho book I picked up was Layla. This is a paranormal thriller which I think is gonna be really interesting. I'm still yet to read Verity which is her other psychological thriller which has blown up on TikTok but this one is more of a paranormal thriller so I think that's going to be really interesting. Don't really know too much about this book apart from the fact that it's paranormal and kind of scary. I kind of want to go into this one blind so yeah I'm excited. Then I 
picked up The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This book just sounds so interesting. This is a rom-com. I'm going to read the back of the book for you guys. Shay Goldstein has been a producer at her Seattle public radio station for nearly a decade, but lately it's been a constant clash between her and her newest colleague, Dominic Yun. She's fresh off a journalism master's program and convinced he knows everything about public radio. When the struggling station needs a new concept, Shay proposes a show that her boss green lights with excitement. On the X Talk, two exes will deliver relationship advice live on air. Their boss decides Shay and Dominic are the perfect co hosts given how much they already despise each other. Neither loves the idea of lying to listeners, but it's this or unemployment. The audience gets invested fast, and it's not long before the X Talk becomes a must listen in Seattle and climbs podcast charts. As the show gets bigger, so does their deception, especially when Shay and Dominic start to fall for each other. In an industry that values truth, getting caught could mean the end of more than just their careers. This sounds like it's going to be such a funny rom-com. Enemies to lovers, kind of fake dating or fake exes, I suppose, and sort of secret forbidden romance in a sense as well, considering they shouldn't be falling in love, considering they're meant to hate each other and be fake exes on the radio. Then I got two books from the Hot and Hammered series, which are Love Her or Lose Her and Tools of Engagement. I've already read the first book, which was Fixed Her Up, and that was one of my favorite reads of March. So good, so I knew I had to finish the rest of the series, so I got both of these while they were on sale. So in Fixed Her Up, we have the main character, Georgie, and Georgie has a friend named Rosie and her sister named Bethany. Love Her or Lose Her is Rosie's story, and it's marriage reconciliation and second chance romance, and Bethany's story is tools of engagement, and she's just started her own Fixed Her Up business, and this is enemies to lovers. So very excited to continue on this series. These books can be read as standalones because they're just in an interconnected series, but obviously I'm reading them in order. And then lastly, I have another series and that is the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. So I've got the first book, which is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Good Girl, Bad Blood, which is the second book, and the last book, which is As Good as Dead. I've heard a lot of people raving about this series, so I'm very excited. So this is a young adult mystery as well actually. I will read the back of the book of the first book for you. Five years ago, schoolgirl Andy Bell was murdered by Sal Singh. The police knew he did it. Everyone in town knows he did it. But having grown up in, in the same small town that was consumed by the murder, Pippa isn't so sure. When she chooses the case as a topic for her final year project, she starts to uncover secrets that someone in town desperately wants to stay hidden. And if the real killer is still out there, how far will they go to keep Pip from the truth? This just sounds so interesting. I am so excited to read the series and especially now that I own all three books I definitely have to read the series. So those are the books that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this little book shopping with me and book haul video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos because I will obviously be more than happy to do it because it gives me an excuse to go book shopping. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy watching and subscribe to my channel down below because I post new videos every single week. You can also follow me on my Instagram but I also have a Goodreads and a book Instagram as well. So I'll have both of those linked down below too. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Problem.